Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and press the bell icon. There's a common issue many web developers face, preventing the back button from being used after a user logs out in Laravel. Let me show you what the issue looks like. Login using email and password. You will be redirected to home. Now click on logout to sign out. Type slash home after localhost colon 8000 in the address bar to navigate to the home route. You will be redirected to the login page. Login again using your email and password. Now click on logout to sign out. Click on the back button, and you'll still see the home page which should not be accessible after logout. In this video, I will show you how to solve this issue in Laravel 12. We'll implement a simple middleware solution that clears cached pages and ensures users are redirected to the login page. I have already installed Laravel 12, and for authentication, I've installed the Laravel UI package with Bootstrap Auth. Click on the I button to watch the video. Open the .env file. Create a database with the specified name. After creating the database, migrate the database. Open welcome.blade.php file, which is located inside the resources slash views folder. Here comment out the at if, at else, and at end if block, leaving only the style for Tailwind CSS, since the welcome.blade.php file uses Tailwind for styling. Then, open your terminal and run the composer run dev command to start both the Vite server and the local PHP server. Go to your browser, navigate to localhost colon 8000, and you'll see the Laravel 12 homepage with the login and register links. Click on the register link to go to the registration page. Enter name, email, password, Confirm password, then click on register to register a user. You can see the dashboard page. Now click on logout to sign out. Click on the back button, and you'll still be able to view the home page, which should no longer be accessible after logging out. Let's fix this by creating a middleware. Go back to Visual Studio Code. Click here and select Command Prompt to open a new command prompt. Type the command php artisan make colon middleware prevent back and press enter. This command will create a prevent back class inside app http middleware folder. The prevent back middleware has been created. Open prevent back.php class inside the app http middleware folder. Here, the handle method takes a request and a closure as parameters. It then passes the request to the next middleware in the pipeline by calling $NextRequest. Comment out this line of code. Here, assign the result of $NextRequest to the $Response variable, which processes the request and stores the response returned by the next middleware. Next, we set the cache control header of the response to prevent caching by the browser. The no store, no cache, must validate, and max age equals zero directives ensure the response is not cached and is always revalidated. Then, we set the pragma header to no cache, which is an additional instruction to the browser to prevent caching of the response. Next, we set the expires header to a past date sat 01 January 2000 00 00 colon 00, 00, colon 00, 00 GMT, which ensures that the response is considered expired by the browser and cannot be cached. Finally, we return the dollar response object, which contains the modified headers and is ready to be sent back to the client. To summarize, we first pass the request to the next middleware using $NextRequest, then modify the response by setting three headers. Cache control to prevent caching. No store, no cache, must validate, max age equals zero. Pragma to further instruct no caching, no cache. And expires to a pass date sat 01, January 2000, 00, zero colon, 00, zero, colon, 00, zero, GMT to ensure the response is expired before returning the modified response to the client. Now, we need to register the middleware. 
Open app.php file located inside the bootstrap folder. We need to register the middleware inside the with middleware function. Here, we are assigning the alias preventback to preventback middleware, so we can use the alias when assigning the middleware to routes. Import preventback middleware. Copy this alias name. Open web.php file located inside the routes folder. Here, the home route does not directly include the auth middleware. Select home controller, right click, and then choose go to definition to open the home controller. Here, the middleware is defined within the home controller's constructor. Comment out this code, as we will assign the middleware to the route instead. Open web.php file. Comment out this route definition. First, add the route class with the middleware method. Then, pass the middleware's auth and prevent back inside an array as parameters. Next, add the group function and inside this group, define the home route. Instead of using app backslash http backslash controllers backslash home controller, we will use home controller and import it. Go back to your browser. Navigate to localhost colon 8000. Click on the login link to go to the login page. Enter your email and password, then click on login to login. You will be redirected to the home page. Now click on logout to sign out. Click on the back button, and you will be redirected to the login page, as we have applied the prevent back middleware to the home route. This solution won't work in single page applications, SPAs, like React with inertia. To make it work, we'll need to add some extra code, and I'll be creating a separate video to cover that. So make sure to stay tuned. In this video, we implemented a solution to prevent users from accessing the home page after logging out by using the prevent back middleware. We applied the necessary middlewares to the route and demonstrated how the back button behavior is controlled ensuring that users are redirected to the login page after logout. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content. Feel free to drop any questions or comments below, and I'll be happy to help. I will see you in next tutorial. Till then, stay safe.